whether you're rich, whether you're poor, small or great, free or slave, the Antichrist will institute a global system of control. And it's already what we're seeing with a technocratic state. And no one will be able to buy or sell or participate in the marketplace, whether in person or online, without worshiping the image of the beast and taking his mark either in your hand or in your forehead. Now, the King James Version of the Bible says that the mark of the beast will be in the hand. It will be an implant, not a mere external mark or tattoo. It says he will cause all, in verse 16, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Again, denoting an implant inside of the body. It's actually going to be in the hand or in the forehead. But the modern versions of the Bible, like the NIV, the NASB, the NLT, all of these say that the mark will be on the hand or on the forehead. And that might seem like a small, you know, insignificant change, but that's pretty significant when we're talking about the mark of the beast. I mean, this isn't like some light doctrine. Again, it may seem insignificant, but this is life and death. And so here's the NIV in Revelation 13, 16. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. Again, whereas the King James says in. The NLT, he required everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to be given a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. The ESV, also it causes all both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave to be marked on the right hand or forehead. And the NASB, and he causes all small and great, rich and poor, and, and the free and the slaves to be given a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads. I can hardly read these other versions, kind of stumble over them. They're not as smooth and as, as good as the King James. But even the New King James Version, don't get fooled by the New King James. It's not merely a modernization of the words as they claim in their marketing and in their advertising. These are major changes in the, there are major changes in the NKJV, including removing hell from the Old Testament and calling it Hades, which is a Greek myth. You know, in the New King James, there is no hell uh, in, the, in the Old Testament anyway. There's just Greek mythology. And so amazingly, you know, uh, it's just amazing how the King James Version of the Bible translated 500 years ago in 1611, over 500 years, was able to predict that the mark of the beast would not be, you know, on the right hand but in the right hand, not on the forehead, but in the forehead. So even back then, they could, you know, the Bible predicted an implant, which would have been, you know, they couldn't have even thought about, you know, necessarily at that point. And so this points to the microchip implant as a viable possibility. Uh, whether the mark of the beast will take the form of a biochip or some other new tech, you know, depending on when that time comes, whatever the latest technology is will be used to institute the system of the mark of the beast. And so a biochip of some kind can easily have your banking information, your medical information, your vaccination status, your social credit score, whether you're good on Facebook today or whether you said something that went against Mark Zuckerberg's communist standards. <laughs>